I'm gonna share with you how I made procedurally generated camps that are fully destructible in just one month. Make sure to stay until the end because there's a very special announcement. Before we move to the absolute juice of the video, let's first talk a bit about the camp generator. My goal was to create a camp generator that takes different resources like wood and stone as an input and gives a Mad Max themed camp as a result. So basically something like a vending machine where you insert a coin to get a drink, but without coins or drinks and it's not even a vending machine to start from. Anyways. Thanks to my prior experience with procedurally generated worlds, I managed to quickly slap together a similar generator for camps because I'm basically a professional now. I created three zones in the camp, other ring, inner ring and the center zone. Every ring has different asset types that can be spawned. For example, the outer ring is made out of walls, towers and other defensive structures, while the inner ring is made out of stockpile areas, artillery weapons and other weaker structures. The center area holds the oil pump, which is the heart of the camp, as well as any garrison soldiers that can't find a hiding spot. I mean, not that any hiding spot really counts when you drive up to one of these with your homies, because these are fully destructible. To make defending these camps easier, I made a really powerful static weapon weapon that shoots 50 cal bullets and it's an absolute menace. I call it the exhauster, because it's literally made out of a car exhaust, but please don't try this at home. I tried it and couldn't explain it to my ex-wife. Before I move to this special announcement, I've got some really exciting things to talk about. Stockpiles. As much as they might sound boring, these are a real treat to destroy. There are 5 resource types in the game and every one of them has its own stockpile that has a different outcome when destroyed. Wood, stone and steel stockpiles simply drop part of their resources when destroyed. All stockpiles explode depending on the oil amount in the stockpile. And lastly, my favorite one, the ammo stockpile. This stockpile burns down and sends random bullets and rockets flying around for an absolutely magnificent show. Who needs fireworks anyways? After adding all of these features, I had a thought about all the optimization work that needs to be done. But to be honest, optimization is way overrated anyways. So I decided to add even more stuff. I've added an intel gathering mechanic. Enemy squad leaders have a chance to drop one of these documents that you can collect in order to reveal information about enemy commander's strategy, his available assets and his favorite TV shows. What? So it's finally time for the special announcement. Until this point, I refer to this project as the secret project. But I think it's finally time to reveal its name and my plans for the future, since I finally made a store page for Lost in the Sand. A slow-paced shooter with stretchy elements set in a fully destructible environment. Lost in the Sand is halfway there with the core mechanics, after which I plan to make a demo version of the game. The demo will be available on the Steam page for everyone to play for free. So until then, make sure to wishlist the game by following the link in the description. It's would honestly mean a world to me. Also, make sure to subscribe or you might get stuck in a ladder like this. Your choice. Bye.